Okay.
Yeah. Well, wait a minute. It's just the veil over the face, yeah. so I'll just so yeah. when you do. Yeah. Cats, uh, okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, don't go like yeah. this or anything. Yeah. And then I leave. Do no, I leave it back? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, from then on, you're, yeah. you're, yeah. you're yeah. unveiled. Okay. You're good. I love you. You look exquisite. Yeah. It is. It is wonderful. So take a deep breath. I'm like one big, like right now I'm one big wrap job. <laughs> Yeah.
Jason and Lisa have for each other, the love that God has for them, and the love that God has for all of us through them that we see manifest here. And so, in this love, with gratitude, let us pray. Jason and Lisa, who today are united in marriage before your altar, give them your blessing and strengthen their love for each other and for you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and your Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us be seated to listen to the words of sacred scripture.
Our response is, the Lord is compassionate to all his creatures. I will take care of others in the hands.
Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Live on in my love. You will live in my love if you keep my commandments, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and live in his love. All this I tell you, that my joy may be yours, and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. No. <laughs> Lisa had noticed Jason at work, and she went to his boss, Laura, and expressed this interest. And Laura, like a good friend, I'm not sure if that's like really a good boss, it's not saying it's a bad boss, but I don't know how many bosses would do this. Laura encouraged them to get together. And Jason had said if it hadn't been for that, they might not have ever gotten together. So this is proof, I think, that yes, your boss can be right. <laughs> if Lisa had been ambitious to meet Jason, if Laura hadn't been ambitious for them to meet each other, we might not be here this moment. That second reading we chose from St. Paul says, be ambitious. Be ambitious for the greater gifts. And then it says, I will tell you the attributes of love, how those are more important than any wealth When I was talking with Lisa and Jason the other day, I said, there's some 
things you'd like me to share about you, you'd like everybody to know, and I said, well, we want each other's family and friends to know about our work, at least the good stuff, it said. And some of the stuff that they're coming up, it's like Lisa was saying how she loves Jason's zeal and his ability to bring people up. Lisa, I mean, Jason was saying how he really admires Lisa's caring and considerate spirit. Those are many gifts that we heard and more that Paul spoke about. And we are here now to witness the unite of these gifts. Two people, many gifts, in one love. So I would like to ask you now to please come and stand in front of our Lord that we might ask God's blessing on your union. Jason, Lisa, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's ministers in this community. In this way, you will be strengthened to keep mutual and lasting faith with each other and to carry out the duties of marriage. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Lisa, Jason, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yeah. We have. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? We yeah. will. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? We will. We will. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, I ask you to join your right hands and declare your consent before God and the church. If you repeat loudly after me, okay? I, Jason, take you, Lisa. I, Jason, take you, Lisa. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. So if you could keep that in mind, I, Lisa, take you, Jason. I, Lisa, take you, Jason. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord divine with the strength of your consent and for you both many blessings. For God has joined and one to God. So I'd like to ask the witnesses to present the dreams which you will use to be a sign of this union. They are strong, shiny. There's no beginning and no end to these circles. They are meant to be a sign of good, strong, brilliant, enduring, and unending. They're both for God and for the children. So we ask God's blessing upon these rooms. Lord, bless and consecrate Lisa and Jason in their love for each other. May these rings be a symbol of true faith in each other and in you, and always remind them of their love and your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jason, take this ring. Oh, Jason, take this ring. As a sign of my love and as, fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Lisa, take this ring. Lisa, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. And in the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Amen.
You guys did really good. And that good. was a Catholic wedding, too. Yeah. Nervous? Yeah. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. Okay. Yeah. Good job, Jeff. 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 Good job, Jeff.
Ladies and gentlemen, may I please have your attention for a quick moment. I'd like to welcome you all on this beautiful day at the beautiful Holland's house here. Right now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce those folks that help make this day a little extra special for our bride and groom. Ladies and gentlemen, we please welcome the parents of the bride, Patty and Dennis and Tree. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the parents of the groom, Mary Ann and John Fritas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our bridesmaid, Maggie Sherman, escorted by groomsman Ryan Tate. Rasheen Lammers, that's where it by Guzman Gray Lammers. Wow. 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 Susan, Susan Ventry, that's where it by Guzman Eric Ventry. Wow. 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 Please welcome Chrissy Rochelle, that's where it by Guzman Ed Monroe. Please welcome bridesmaid Larissa Marlinas. Marlins. Please welcome groomsman Ashley Bo Penley. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please look for these gentlemen. We have our ring bearers today. Please welcome ring bearers Dylan Lammers and Justice Lammers. And now, oh, me. please welcome our maid of honor, Shereen Fanberg, that's where my best man, Maurice Little. Woo! And now, that moment I know you've all been waiting for, please welcome the new room escort his lovely bride. Please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Jason Lammers. Something else. I, I mean, really to see my best friend 
Uh, it was the first time I saw him in love, so uh, it, was, it, was, it was something else. It was something else. So um, I, I wish you guys all the best. I hope I, hope I haven't missed anything. Um, you know, I, I wish you happiness, uh, a lifetime of fun and, and love and, and, and joy. I, I wish you guys all the success in the world, absolutely. Um, so it's, it's, it's pretty amazing to see uh, a group of people like this that, that have so much love for, for two people and, and uh, I think it's pretty awesome. So, so congratulations. I wish you all the best and uh, cheers. 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 The next person who would like to say a few words to our bride and groom, please welcome once again our maid of honor, Shireen Fanberg. So, here is a story about a girl named Lisa. <laughs> Soon to honeymoon in a place near Pusa. <laughs> Today to Jason, she said, I do. And together they bonded in a life that's new. It was an honor to be by her side, and she stood there with Jason. She's a beautiful bride. Lisa is sweet, she's outgoing, she's positive, she's cheerful. If you want to know more, Jason, I'll give you an earful. <laughs> when you're down and you're feeling blue, she's the perfect friend. She'll be there for you. She'll perk you up with the right thing to say. With Lisa, there never seems to be a bad day. I wish them a kid, or two, three, or four. If they turn out like Lisa, why not have a few more? <laughs> <laughs> now that we have witnessed these two make their vow, their wonderful future begins right now. So let's raise our glasses and toast them the best for a life full of happiness, passion, and zest. <laughs> Uh, that was excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the father of the bride, Dennis Ventry. Well, I've been waiting a very long time for this toast. Unfortunately, we're on a time schedule, and uh, I'll have to make it very short and sweet. I want to welcome everyone here for this wonderful occasion, for the, the marriage of these two wonderful people, my beautiful daughter Lisa and my newest son, Jason. <laughs> Patty and I are just thrilled to death to have both of you in our family, of course. Uh, I would like everyone to join in and give you all the happiness and wish you all the happiness and love in the world, together. <laughs> Please, to the right and left. Now, sir, if you would please turn the microphone over to the bridegroom. They'd like to say something to the guests. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mr. and Mrs. Jason Lammers. Well, um, as you guys probably know, this is a uh, very emotional and spiritual day for uh, Lisa and I. And uh, we spent a long time preparing, and we're very excited that everyone could come here and enjoy this moment with us. Uh, this is the start of our lives, and um, we're just so thrilled that everyone could come and be here with us at this moment. And uh, we thank you for that. And, um, I just want to say the same thing. Thank you to everybody. Um, it's wonderful to look out at each and every one of you and know that you're here sharing our special day. Jason and I are just tickled. I mean, this is probably this is the best day of our lives. And to have you all here and all the support that we've gotten from everybody, our friends and family, um, it just means everything to us. So we just feel really, really blessed. So thank you. Right. Cheers to everybody. The other one. That's here. Yeah. Why not all night?